Vsauce. I'm Jake, and if you wondered why I disappeared for a year, well, good news, there is a video on my personal channel that explains what happened to me and where I've been. I'll put a link right at the top of the description so you can go check it out, or you can click right here. But long story short, I'm back. And the first thing I want to do is show you some dongs. Things you can do online now, guys. Let's use this Pokemon guide for a quick refresher. It has all Generation 1 Pokemon and gives you useful information like type, moves, stats, and more. But what we want to focus on is the sprite. Really focus on it. Memorize the outline, the shape. Because that's all you get with Who's That Pokemon? No, seriously, who is it? I don't know. <laughs> JK, I'm a cool guy. It's Raichu! You can select which generation you want to choose from, or just do them all. Change the difficulty level from easy to elite, with elite only giving you a sound to guess from. But instead of looking at the outside of the pocket monsters, let's look at their insides by exploring the Pokemon Fossil Museum. If you can't make it to Japan, this is the next best thing. This site allows you to explore the entire museum, seeing the exhibits and the incredibly cool fossilized remains of Pokemon. One thing I really appreciate is that they have fossils of the real creatures that inspired these fictional critters. Oh, that reminds me. Let's, let's take a seat. Hey, sport. I've been meaning to have this conversation with you for a really long time, and I think it's best if I just rip the band-aid off. Pokemon aren't real. Those fossils, they're not real fossils. I know, I know. I'm, I'm sad too, buddy. Uh, I mean, maybe it's just best if we drown our sorrows in the deep sea, an interactive site that takes you through the entire water column so you can explore all five zones of the ocean. The site also provides interesting facts on your way down about the sea life that inhabits it. For example, if we go to 1500 meters into the midnight zone, we find the big red jellyfish and learn that many deep sea species use the color red as camouflage since it's the first color to leave the spectrum as you dive deeper. But instead of exploring the watery abyss that is our ocean, let's explore the abyss that is space with a real-time trip to Mars. Just keep this tab open for 210 days to win. All right, here we go. Look at us. We are venturing into the unknown, pushing humanity further, not just into the far reaches of our solar system, but deeper into our understanding of the cosmos. And you know what? This is boring. It feels like we've been traveling forever, but it's only been just a minute. This game tests your internal clock to see if you can actually judge one minute of time passing. Whoa. Time. 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 For something a little faster paced, let's visit our good friend Tom Scott and play his game You Can't Do Maths Under Pressure. It starts out relatively easy, with basic addition and subtraction, then throws in multiplication and division before ratcheting up the excitement with solving for x and the order of operations all while the timer speeds up. If you'd rather play with numbers but at your own pace, there's parity. You have a 3x3 board filled with numbers. The object of the game is to get all the numbers to be exactly the same. Move the highlighted section around the board, and each space you move to increases that space's number by one. Now you have to plan your route out ahead of time in order to win, sometimes backtracking to increase the value, especially when the game starts throwing in negative numbers. But maybe puzzles and math are not your thing, and you would rather have a transition to another dong by having everything I'm currently saying be shown as an actual playable Spotify playlist that I will link in the description for you to listen to courtesy of weirdspot.fyi. Instead of having a Spotify playlist speak for you, have the movies do it with play phrase. It has over 7.6 million phrases, so type in what you're looking for, and... Oh, I will, Arnold. What if we want to create something new? Well, good news we can with these lyrics do not exist. Pick a topic, style of music, the mood, and the AI will generate some beautiful Grammy-winning lyrics for you. Oh, sensational. Now we just need some music, which we can create with Song Maker. For the rhythm, you can choose between synth, marimba, piano, strings, or woodwind. Once you find the right sound, then choose the kind of instrument for the beat with electronic, blocks, kit, or conga. Depending on your selection, you'll end up with something like this. If you want to get even more in-depth, you can also change parameters, like beats per bar, scale, and range. Last piece we need are some visuals to go with it. So let's try Super Shape. Adjust the selections under Path and Thickness to get this object looking how you want, and then turn on the post effects to give it a really neat glow.
But if you don't feel like making your own music, you could always use this archive of old tapes from Kmart, this is Kmart, that an employee of theirs from the 1980s and 90s saved and digitized. The tapes are full of music the stores would play over the loudspeakers while customers shopped. The Beatles are waiting to be discovered, and people in Michigan are discovering a great new place to shop. I'm going to leave you with one more dong. Now, for those of us that weren't fortunate enough to be in Mr. Beast's Squid Game, or the real Squid Game, which, I mean, probably is for the best, Thomas Park made a version using only CSS. You can try your luck with the glass bridge, and, okay, I'm dead. Well, uh, what about red light, green light? And I'm still dead. Or Dalgona. And I survived. I did it. I won. Links to all the dongs can be found in the description below, as well as a link to my personal channel if you want to hang out with me over there. And it feels good to be back. I'm excited. And, as always, thanks for watching.